Power BI Fiat parameters are powerful. I think you already heard that or know that. They are also potentially one of the most powerful new UI UX features in a long time. But a feature on its own won't make your report consumer lives easier. As a report creator, it is your responsibility to know when and how to use a tool or a feature. So today, I would like to show you how to take a slicer filled with tens of options for the dynamic x-axis to the next level by applying rollable security to the field parameter value. Let's get to it. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Analytics. My name is Roland and I'm here to help you to learn more about Power BI. If this is your first time around here, then please start by clicking on the like and subscribe buttons so you wouldn't miss my Power BI tutorials and shorts. It means a lot to me and helps others to find content like this. Thank you. As probably many of you out there, I was also fooling around with field parameters to see what's possible with them and how can my users benefit from this feature. I reckon many report creators would just create something like this. Adding heaps of fields from the data model to the field parameter to cover all analytical needs. Now, what if I tell you that by applying RLS on the field parameter, you can provide a much better user experience? Let's head over to Power BI Desktop and I'll show you how to do it. Let's start by looking at the slicer at the bottom of the page. It has lots of options to choose from when it comes to the dynamic x-axis. While this is the feature that my users wanted, they did not necessarily like this format with all the left-right scrolling. In total, I have 19 fields from my data model in this parameter. Out of that, 7 comes from the customers table, 6 comes from the product table, and few more from other tables. What if I only want to show fields from the customers table to the sales team, fields from the product table to the marketing team, and all fields except the ones from the customer and products to everyone else? Well, the easiest way to do that is to apply rollable security rules on the parameter table. Let's start small and have a look at the field parameter's behavior when we apply rollable security on it. At first, I'm just going to limit it to a single value, let's say the month field. Then head over to view as and select the first rollable security profile. I'm happy to see that it works fine as it means that everything else that we learned about RLS can be applied to field parameters. If you are unsure about RLS, check out one of my previous videos about the feature. Links are at the top right corner and down in the description box. Let's crank it up a bit, shall we? This time I'm going to add the quarter and the channel name field and use an in operator to ensure that my RLS picks up both. Great, this one works as well, which means that all I have to do is to create three security profiles and just list the fields I want each and every one of those profiles to see. Let me do that quickly and cut to the point where I have all of these created. So now I have three security profiles and as I switch between these, you can see what fields are available to which user, or I should rather say to which security group. With this small, additional setup, you can utilize field parameters with heaps of fields from your model while keeping an easy to use and good UI for your report consumers. Imagine if every single one of them would have to scroll to the right and the left just to be able to find the fields that they want to use as part of the dynamic x-axis analysis. These seemingly small design steps cannot be underestimated. And believe me, your users are going to love the limited options from the field. Now it's time for me to ask the question of the day. Have you started using field parameters? If so, which part is your favorite so far? Let me know in the comments below along with any other questions that you have about them. Thanks for tuning in today. I hope that you learned something new and interesting from today's video and you will be able to implement this for your report. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons before you leave or before you watch one from the above videos. Until the next one, see ya!